What is up folks, it's Marcel J. This is gonna be another moment with Marcel and today's moment is gonna be on Helga. If you don't know who Helga is, you probably, that would mean you don't know what Hey Arnold is. Which means you were probably born in the like 2002, before the 2000s because Hey Arnold, I mean, that was that cartoon, that was Nickelodeon in the 90s, that was Rugrats, Spongebob, classic and I don't know why or how I got to like thinking about this, but uh, was a couple days ago I was thinking about Hey Arnold and I was thinking about Helga and just how funny she is thinking about her now. Because back then she just seemed like annoying and just too angry and actually that's just funny back then too. <laughs> this is depending on what your, your sense of humor was when you were younger. You either understood Helga or you were just like afraid of Helga and you thought she was like the worst part of the show. Granola girl, you dismissed and take this health crap with you. Come to realize as we grow up, we all become Helga, and I want to give a little moment on why I appreciate Helga and why we're all okay here. So, you know the drill three minutes or less, we talk about a topic and we have a moment. So, I've got three minutes on the clock. Let's go. So, Helga, she, her character is just deep rooted in and awkwardness and insecurities in a sense and just wanting to be loved by someone who doesn't give a fuck about her. And that is not the most relatable character, character description for everyone. I honestly don't know what it is. <laughs> but with as the show goes on and progresses, I think K. Arnold realizes that it's kind of like the Parker's too. Like shout out to Nikki, Nikki Parker. Parker, how did you find out what I was wearing? Well, you transmitted your sweet love thoughts to me during your sleep. Does that mean you broke into my apartment and went through my closets? Yep, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's kind of like the, it's it's similar, similar shows, similar um, like plot lines and themes. Whoa, perfect. No. As the show goes on, Harold, Harold, Arnold realizes that not only is Helga actually very sweet and very sensitive on the inside, but she has feelings for him. I think in the movie they finally kiss and maybe become a thing for like 30 minutes. But when you are a Helga, when you have so many feelings deep rooted and you can't get them out, you do do crazy things like, well, this wouldn't happen on, in like back then in the 90s, but now you stalk your crush's page. You you make excuses to talk to them. You do a lot of this like high school type shit. And also a lot of unhealthy shit because you don't know how to emotionally health fuck, why can't we? You don't know how to handle your emotions on a healthy level. Which is obviously no point now. What else? I appreciate Helga's pettiness. I appreciate Helga just being very honest. Not honest about her feelings, but just honest about everything else. Um, what else? How else? Why do we all relate to Helga? Our, I feel like we all can relate to Helga to a certain extent because we've all been in a place where someone has left is feeling very insecure, very uncertain about either the mutual feelings are just who we are as people, like are we desirable, are we good enough in a sense, and you know we should all know that we are good enough. <laughs> we don't have to be like Helga putting everything on the inside to to cope, and you know honesty is the best policy. You can't get anywhere in life if you aren't speaking your truth and saying what you want. 15 seconds of spare, that's my moment. That's all I gotta say, I think. Yeah, I'm, Hel I'm Helga, you're Helga. Hopefully we can just be better versions of Helga. Yeah, our better versions of <laughs> Oh shit, okay. Our better versions of Helga. And that was my moment. Yes, in less than five minutes. I'm Marcel J, see you guys for the next moment. Peace. 
Hey, this is Editing Marcel. I forgot to mention that I completely appreciate Helga traveling like a fucking like two buses walking just to meet up with Harl. <laughs> just I'm not gonna end this. Just to meet up with Arnold and tell him to move. Like you remember the intro when like it's like Arnold, 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 Arnold. Football head. Hey Arnold. And literally all of that just to get his attention and be, be like, move the fuck out of the way. Like, not only do I aspire to be on that level of penis, I aspire to have someone want to bug me enough to travel by train, by bus, by automobile, by, what else are there? I say plane. Tesla submarine just to get my attention you know that's <sighs> it's toxic but you know love